Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist is Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for March 8th, 2017. For your Wednesday, we're going to have this cold front moving through, and this is going to be uh, very early this morning. Uh, the precipitation should be done early this morning uh, before the, the pre-dawn hours, actually. Uh, we could have some clouds that are left over in our eastern sections very early on before this starts to clear out of here. I do think that we're going to turn mostly sunny at one point today. It's uh, probably going to be favoring the afternoon hours, but uh, from west to east, that's going to, going to improve throughout the day. Could have a few uh, clouds here in the morning here, call it mostly cloudy early on until those clouds break for the areas farther to the east. So we, again, we are going to be improving. Uh, we're going to have a secondary front that's going to come through this afternoon. Once you're going to, once that moves through, you're going to know it because the winds are going to start to increase a little bit. So you're going to get these isobars a little bit uh, tighter, closer together. Not uh, not crazy winds. We're talking about wind, wind gusts to about 30 today, so not over the top. But uh, you will have a little bit uh, gustier winds once that secondary front moves through. Uh, once that does that, you actually have a... Uh, kind of a, a colder push, cooler push of air behind this. So it's going to be very mild today ahead of that because the uh, front didn't move through yet. So we're still going to be very warm today. Uh, temperatures uh, well above normal. Uh, many pl places are 60 or above today from our central and southern regions. But I do think we take a, uh, a step backward here on on uh, Thursday. And that's despite the uh, best efforts of uh, of the mostly sunny skies that are expected here on Thursday. So move a little bit forward here to Thursday, and you can see uh, mostly sunny skies. And uh, again, temperatures won't be it won't be abnormally cold. We're going to be kind of still slightly above normal for for this time of year for highs on Thursday. Then once we once we get to Thursday night, we have a basically what equates to a frontal boundary uh, moving through, uh, pushing off to the south. Here's your boundary right here. Uh, and you can see that where the, uh, the and this is going to be pushing off very slowly to the southeast. Okay, and when it does that, you're going to have a little wave that is uh, going to be forming along this very weak wave, little little low right there. I'm going to put, uh, and you're going to have what we call anafrontal precipitation, which is precipitation behind the front. A lot of times when you see a cold front moving toward the area, and uh, you know in the summertime you'll have showers and thunderstorms out ahead of it. In this case, anafrontal indicates that you're going to have precipitation behind the front. And that precipitation is going to be falling into the colder air, and that's where you get your snow. Of course, this is Thursday night overnight into Friday morning. And uh, this is the GFS depiction of that. So once the front is sagging off to the south, and you have that still, have that area of low pressure right here, very light, or very weak. But again, that, that interfrontal precipitation is forming right above the boundary here and producing snow across our central areas. Further south, though, you see this rain here. This is this is uh, the light green. Uh, that's falling in the form of showers because the boundary layer temperatures are not cooperative. It may change over, mix with, or change to change, change uh, further south to snow uh, by Friday morning, and that's an if. I think it only gets to about I-76, Pennsylvania Turnpike, and that's about it as far as that changeover is concerned. But any accumulations are going to be likely north of the Pennsylvania Turnpike. And uh, there's a little question now how far north that gets because there are some models like last night's NAM that showed the best snows up here in northeastern Pennsylvania as opposed to central, the central part of the state. So we have to work that out today. We will have a first call map out if necessary. Uh, and that will be out this evening, and this will be for the Thursday night, Friday morning threat. Everybody's wondering about the weekend storm. Where's this big weekend storm? Well, it, it is uh, unanimous that this system is going to be staying to the south. And here's that system right here. Uh, this is later Saturday, Saturday night overnight. And you can see uh, it does get, uh, the, the latest GFS does get uh, some precipitation up here close to D.C., uh, but the rest of us up here are staying high and dry. So we've removed the mentions this weekend of... Um, of any snow possibilities we're still going to watch the very far southern areas so we do cover delaware and southern new jersey we'll watch those areas very closely but i think for the rest of us we're looking at a partly cloudy weekend on uh, both uh you know actually s s uh, saturday sunday and monday should be partly cloudy days now uh there is a third wave third wave to talk about and this is what the models are hitting at for uh, as we get into Tuesday, this is getting way out here now. We this is beyond our seven, our six day forecast period is now a week away. We saw this weekend wave here uh, that that's now to the south of us, shown giving us a big hit this weekend in our area, and that was at about seven days when it was showing that. Obviously, that's not going to happen, or uh, odds are it's not going to happen, and it's staying to our south. Yes, there is a chance this can come north yet, uh, but I wouldn't expect big changes. We have taken it out of the daily forecasts. For now, 
unless there's something drastic that changes uh, the next 24 hours or so, but we don't see that happening. So the point was this system here that's now going to be further south was projected to hit up in our area in a big way, and it uh, that was at about seven days out. So this is doing the same thing here early next week as we get into uh, Tuesday and showing a pretty decent-sized snowstorm again. But again, this is uh, the time frame on this is uh, now looking at Tuesday morning. Well, that's 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 about a week away. So so are we going to take this seriously? Probably not yet. We'll just keep this on the back burner and see what happens. Uh, first thing. First thing we have to concentrate on, of course, is this this wave here. Who's getting the snow out of this? It's probably not going to be much anyway. Only talking about an inch or two. But we'll have a uh, our first call map out uh, this afternoon, or actually probably this evening after we send out alerts to the MyPocky meteorologist members to the areas we expect it, areas affected. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for March eighth, two thousand seventeen. Have a great Wednesday.